Good morning, Ellensburg. We had a lovely night. Um, okay, hotel recap. Pros and cons. Um, it's a place to sleep. Oh, the bed is huge. Oh, seriously, king bed. Amazing. Yeah, we have right. a queen at home, so this is definitely different for us. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a king. It's a dog horse, but yeah, it, we wouldn't be able to fit it in the room. Yeah, tiny bit. Okay, so more pros. Uh, AC was nice, kicked all night. <laughs> Someone got a little chilly. She took the blankets. It was cold. That's what happens. Um, I couldn't really hear the frogs once we turned on the AC, but other than that, it was lovely. Um, could use more lighting. Water is a little on the soft side. You didn't take a shower, so you don't know, but. Well, I will try to wash my hands. It took forever to take the soap off, so yeah. Yeah. That's a mini fridge. So that's yeah. good. Mini fridge. Overall, I'd fridge. give this four out of five. I'd stay here again. This is a nice, just, we're gonna, we have to sleep and. It's better than the other hotel we slept here in Ellensburg. Yeah, we stayed at some like cheapy hotel last time. This one was maybe $20, $30 more expensive, but honestly, well worth it. Uh, also, last night we revised our rating of the Mexican food upon further reflection down to a three. <laughs> Just didn't do it for us. We have this thing where when we're really tired and hungry, we think everything's amazing. We should have, which means it's probably like a two, but to <laughs> us being hungry made it a three because there's been foods that are like, this is garbage, but it's like, oh my god. And that was mostly the, just that fried rice. And oh, I mean, it might have been amazing fried rice. I don't think the fried rice in Brighton is that amazing. Um, we didn't even finish the chips, just to give you some context. And we love chips. Yeah. So we're going to, they have to-go breakfast. I have breakfast burritos that I made, but I figured we'd check out the to-go breakfast, especially if there's juice, yeah. because we didn't, we packed energy drinks, but. And water. Yeah, lots of waters and sodas, but... No juice. Alright, so we'll head out. Next stop, breakfast. Somewhere over the pass? No, no. Breakfast in the pass. We'll need to get gas first. Um, so a few stops, and then ocean day! Alright, so breakfast was to go. Grabbed a small selection because we do have those burritos that I made. There's a tornado. A biscuit with bacon, cheese, and a fried egg two cheese danishes, and an apple fritter. So hopefully this is good. Uh, they did have juice, but it was only in a cup, and I didn't want to bring a cup in the car. So, yeah, breakfast. Honestly, for a to-go breakfast, I'm kind of impressed. The last time we had to-go breakfast, everything was cold, but based off of me just being here. Oh, we can actually show you the hotel now that it's light out. This is the Best Western Plus Ellensburg. There is a Carl's Jr. over there that we drove by, and a stand selling fruit trees right there. And it said, oranges, $5 fruit trees, and Phil thought the fruit trees were $5. And you can tell that it's spring, the birds are chirping, it's lovely. Bye-bye. Alright. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Mountains, Gandalf. Mountains. Mountains. Go through the pass soon. We're just gonna stop and get some gas. Looks like Snoqualmie Pass is not blocked currently. 55 minutes. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We've been stuck in some nasty traffic there before. But we're going to assume that it's Saturday morning and everything is lovely and hopefully not snowy either. Yeah. One thing that I love is this wildlife bridge that is absolutely massive to drive through. I've never there's actually a webcam up there where you can see the animals going across so that they're nice and safe. Yay, Animal Bridge! And they even caught Bigfoot. Uh -huh. This is a video on YouTube. It's a man dressed as Bigfoot going over it. Hmm. Fair. Alright, so we have reached the top of the pass. Okay. It's a little bumpy, but just look at the height of the snow levels on the side of the road. That is easily taller than our car. I would not want to be the person who does this. Oh, little waterfall. Phil loves the little waterfall. Loves the little waterfall. But there's a lot of snow still up here. What temperature does the car say? 40, actually. It was wow. Increased three degrees since we hit the summit. 40 degrees and still snowy snow snow. Yeah, that's why we have the little waterfall. Yeah, that is why we have the little waterfalls. That's my favorite part when the road splits. Yeah, 
So this is our side of the road, and then you look over there, that's where the other side of the road is filled. We can see, you're fine. You don't have to do that face. <laughs> All right. Top of the pass. It's all downhill from here. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know why I laughed like the count from Sesame Street, but... Ah. <laughs> it's easy to forget that it's... Yesterday when we left home, it was 71. Oh, I forgot there was music. I would have turned that off. Oh, wow. So, top of the pass. Tiny waterfalls. Do you want to stop at Snoqualmie Falls? Beach, but we can recreate the eternal scene between Natalie and Mike. Can I do the fiance? Uh, All you have to do is dance down the stairs. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I, don't know. I like snow calming. It's probably raging right now, too. I mean, look at that raging waterfall. <laughs> All right, well, we will decide on snow calming. Since at the other end of the pass, we've still got like 20 ish miles. All right. Mountains, Gandalf! Mountains! Alright, so we are at Snoqualmie Falls. Literally, the only reason we are here is because of the last season of 90 Day Fiancé. These are the steps that Mike danced down. Phil, do a little dance. Mm -hmm. Like a happy dance, like you're tap dancing. I should probably note that Phil has not seen this season of 90 Day Fiance, but he listens to me, so that's nice. I can't remember the last time we were here. It's been years. But, these are snow palming falls. That's the lodge that Mike and Natalie ate at. Where he said he was going to become a vegetarian. And he lied to Natalie yet again. Is the recording? Yeah. Oh. Just got back in the car from Snoqualmie Falls. We were able to go to the gift shop which I was super jacked about. Still weird about filming other people. Really? You didn't like the gift shop? No, that was me like, you don't like filming other people. Like it's mediocre. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not mediocre. It's just, I'm not that confident yet. Good gift shop. 10 out of 10. We got these little signs. I'll show you later. They say, I think Haley Avenue and Phil Boulevard. That was Phil Boulevard? Yeah. Oh. And I got a little magnet. We collect magnets. It's Sasquatch looking at the falls right at the same place that like, you do as a visitor, so that's fun. So it did cost us seven dollars and forty-seven cents. You can look at the parking thing to stop here for about twenty-ish minutes. We also both unlocked a pandemic achievement, which is use a porta potty during a pandemic. Have I done that before? I haven't. Have you? For me, it's generally easier. True. Um, I was the first one to use it of the day, I think, because it smelled very clean. No, and can... there was no pee on the floor, so 10 yeah, out of 10 yeah, porta potty. All right, so was it worth seven dollars and 47 cents? No, it was only worth seven. I want my 47 cents back. 47 cents was tax. Um, yeah, I think it was fun. Yeah, I, I would have liked to stay here a little bit longer, but as of right now, we're not getting to the beach until 12 30, so that's keeps getting later and later. Yeah. But I'm the one who pushed this, so yeah. I'm happy. Are you happy? All right, well, let's get back on the road then. Traffic. Traffic. We're in Tacoma right now. This the is land of the traffic. our first slowdown. We have another one coming up relatively soon. But the nice thing is we really don't have anything scheduled for today, just enjoying being there. Yeah. Ideally, we do want to do crab night at three, we think. Not 100% sure. 
But yeah, so this is Tacoma. This is the Emerald Queen Casino Hotel that we're driving by. Really big parking garage. It's got two really big parking garages. Hopefully that's fun. Wish our casino had two big parking garages. It will. In the next 10 years it will. Yeah, the North-South Freeway will be done by then. And technically we're supposed to get... Well, we're supposed to turn in one and a half miles. To stay on the road. What's that big thing over there, Phil? It's a turkey crate. Really? It's loading. Oh, sorry, there's loading cranes for the, sh the ships. ships. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize we were that close to the water right now. Mm -hmm. Wrong water. We need the water that's by the ocean shore, not by the Tacoma shore. Yes. Okay. Well, we will check in. Are we by? Oh, we're by the Cheesecake Factory, aren't we? Yeah, pretty close. They open in 20 minutes. I'm not hungry though. Not we hungry just ate either. the burritos. Oh. Can we just get some brown asparag bread to go, please? Brown bread and some asparagus dipped in that sauce, please. Oh. Just, I would like one cup of Madeira sauce, several spears of asparagus, and as much brown bread as you're willing to give me. Dip in the asparagus, that'd be good. Well, we'll hit Cheesecake Factory on the way back. We've decided against IKEA. A, because we already passed it. B, because we haven't used the stuff that we bought last time. Wow, we're going to have to get out of this lane too, Phil. No. Exit only. That's for that lane. No, that's for this lane. What's your dollar for that lane? Well, I already owe you a dollar. So I'm not taking another dollar bet until I give you your other dollar. I'm glad I didn't take that bet. I'm really grateful that Phil is driving. I hate city driving. I hate city driving more than any other kind of driving. I would rather drive in a foot of snow with ice underneath it than drive in the city. On the freeway, nonetheless. Bumper, yeah. bumper traffic. I mean, that's partially because of my accident, but I already hated city driving before that. It just reinforced it. Yeah, it, I doubled down on why I hate city driving. There must be a jail nearby. Why? No hitchhikers? No, there's the salesman trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We particularly enjoy that because I work at a car dealership. <laughs> Save us. We don't want to sell Audis. I don't want to make more unsolicited calls. Oh, they really made those trees look stupid. Look at those stupid looking trees. That's me. That, that's over pruned. Down there. Speed them at 50. I feel like that font is somewhat severe. It's bold. That's it's different than the normal speed limit. It's sign. bold. You're bold. When I drive 55, yeah. Oh, you're driving 20 right now. I know. Oh, there are so many car dealerships. Uh, that seriously, that might be why they're not allowing hitchhiking. You can't sell a car and hitchhike. No, they're trying to keep the car salesman in. I'm dead serious about this. Well, there's, there's a jail nearby. And they do the work release program as the salesman. I mean, it's possible. I don't know if you have to have a salesman a quarter mile, keep left license in Washington. I know you do in Idaho, but in Idaho it doesn't actually mean anything. It's just the state wanting money so they can print you another little card. Oh, what was that about needing to stay in this lane? I should have done that. That would have canceled out my dollar that I owe you. All of everyone who does city driving is a jerk, except for you. I hate city driving. I could have stayed in that lane. Oh. I... Whatever. Continue on I'm fine with you doing that. Alright, well, we'll tap in when things are a little more interesting than just traffic. Traffic. Welcome to Aberdeen, gateway to the Olympics. Use any light to turn I never knew I'd be in the Olympics, me. but here we are. Okay, Phil, say your joke. Continue on this wish we for three quarters Ooh, of a mile. Here's some interesting stuff. That's the smallest little cannon. Oh, it's a baby cannon. It's a little bit. 
Is that better? Cannon. There's a statue. We'll have to look up and see what this is. There's like a totem pole. So this is Aberdeen. Um, oh, shit, there's a whole sign for our hotel right there and we didn't even notice. All you can eat Dungeness. We're, we're going to that. Um, yeah, so we're in Aberdeen. Looks like an interesting little city. It, it doesn't quite know how old it is because they're super new and super old, but not blended. I like this little bus station. That's cute. I have a feeling that there's more to the history of this place. Also, bug bird in a cage. Mm -hmm. What an interesting city. I mean, you'd have to be to produce some interesting artists. I mean, has it done more than Kurt Cobain? I'm sure. But like, you don't know any. <laughs> <laughs> I won't agree. It has a really old downtown. There's a Kurt Cobain memorial somewhere around here, but yeah, we're already running late enough I, I, as it is. I enjoy his music, but I don't know enough to go to his memorial. Just make me sad, you know. In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Alder Street. All right, well, we are 31 minutes away from the ocean, so we will tap back in later. Bye-bye.